But now with more campuses poised to reopen, NBC4's Beverly White explains why some advocates are voicing renewed concern about the lack of education equity. By mid-April, empty classes across L.A. will be repopulated with socially distant teachers and students. The Positive Results Center finds many children, especially under-resourced minorities, are struggling in lockdown. Top of the list is the depression and, and, the, uh, and the suicide uh, uh, rate. Everyone says, oh, that these are the signs, but when you are living in it, and especially if there's a pandemic and you're just trying to survive the day, it's very difficult. For households facing food insecurity, LAUSD's grab-and-go meals are a lifesaver. Panelist Naomi McSwain recalls how one mother described her living situation. You know, my kids, they normally eat breakfast and lunch at school. And so I never had to worry about that expense. And now that, you know, both of them are at home, you know, I am losing my job and I just don't have it. We forget that sometimes school is an escape for kids. And so they're going to school to escape abuse. They're going to school to get meals. The expert panel also agrees a lot of children thrive under virtual learning. They say the challenge now is fairness for everyone as society pivots again. It's really a difficult time right now for youth for service providers, for educators. Tonight's public discussion featured real talk from a mother whose teenager suffers depression. But I was a nervous wreck. I I didn't know how to I didn't know how to deal with COVID at work and come home, you know, being a single parent and going to work trying to provide, making sure she had. I'm like, I'm only one person. The mom in that situation says a compassionate care dog and counseling helps her family work through their issues. She suggests anyone needing help seek out a trusted source as the pandemic drags on. In Universal City, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.